Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. Um, I'm reading today out of one of the texts we'll be talking about in church. Uh, it is The Shepherds, and it's very famous because, you know, you remember how it sounds. Luke chapter 2 verse 8 says, And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And so it's interesting. We, we were already taken to Bethlehem as Mary and Joseph journeyed there and in the town fields outside of Bethlehem and pretty much all the towns, even the cities, you know, traveled in a straight line. You eventually came to the fields in the pastoral setting. There were shepherds and they're staying in the fields and they're watching over their sheep at night. And that's familiar enough to us to make us maybe forget, well, who on earth was thinking about shepherds at any one particular time? Um, history doesn't take a great account of shepherds. Uh, if you're he hearing the story about the Messiah that God gave, about the salvation that he's bringing, it's going to end with the conquering of death and the defeat of sin in this world, forgiveness full and free, and the doors of heaven opening and the new Jerusalem coming down. Shepherds isn't the first thing that comes to mind. Well, it's interesting that God's thinking about shepherds all the time, that you could just say, I'll tell you what this, you, you can imagine the Lord saying, I'll tell you what this story, this picture of my son's birth needs right here, needs some shepherds. And the angels might have said, shepherds, really? Yes, shepherds. Entirely, we go send the angels to shout at some shepherds on the hillside. And, um, but interestingly, he's thinking about shepherds, he's thinking about them as recipients of his love and his gospel. People might think about shepherds in Bible times. They wouldn't, and the next thing you might say is, well, how many sheep do they have? How many sheep do they shepherd? People thought about fishermen, but they might say something very practical that we would recognize. How big is their boat? What was their latest catch? How is he doing in business? God does not evaluate us on these things. He sees all these things. They are valued in their proper way and proper place even by heaven. But what kind of a savior will these shepherds know? That is a key question, and it's the question for you. God isn't valuing you because how much money you make, where you live, who you're friends with, uh, how you've done today. How well do you know his son? For what kind of a savior do you have? Do you know Jesus as savior? You're amazing. And God is calling us, like the shepherds, to hear and express his love. Amen.